Hello, hello, hello. Deborah Berry here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time for pretty talk, classic talk. Anyway, I'm in black today because I want to talk about black, black, black. Black clothes, black, you know, styles. But anyway, this is a peplum top I got at Macy's. Uh, and it's stretchy. It's like a sweater. I got it over the holidays. Well, I ordered it over the holidays and it didn't come to last week. First of January, anyway. But it's beautiful lace. It's stretchy lace. It's a mock turtle and it's a peplum. Lady, we all know. Don't we, ladies? We know that a peplum is forgiving. <laughs> forgiving of a lot of things. And if you can find a peplum, do it. I have it on with just a, a knit skirt knee but it's not bad. I mean, I can stand up here with the ladies, right? I can work with them, okay? Oh, and I want to just mention, I have a new member here. This is, I call her Camille sometimes. I call her Audrey, like Audrey Hepburn from Breakfast at Tiffany's or something. They go along with my Coco Chanel one over here. I just wanted another one, you know? The girls, the girls, the girls. All right, let's have a seat here. Uh, I was telling you about what's on my face and earrings and everything. Hi, hi, hi. You know, each week I get ready for this. I try to set the camera up. I try to get the lighting right. I hope I have it right today. The lighting is so crucial. And plus it helps you look better. But I have on some Kate Spade earrings. You can see those. We'll zoom in later. But... They're pretty, they're pearls with a little green stone. I got those on sale over the holidays, the Christmas shopping. I just, I decided to do pearls with this since I put this on. And this hair, it's in the curly way, you know, I'm not flat ironing or blow drying, so this is what we get. But, you know, and some, maybe next year this time, for sure, all the red stuff will be gone and I'll have just the black and the silver but it's coming along and I just twist it up you know try to show you what I do with it yeah it's the best I can do I um I'm gonna do it flat iron because I bought a new flat iron curling iron thing by Lange I don't know if you've seen those on the internet or advertised but I sit here I go again I have you know uh, the uh, I'm drawing a blank here Dyson, woo, 69 almost, 69 in a, in a couple of weeks, 24th of January, 69. The Dyson I have, you know, the flat iron, the, the blow dryers, and all of that, but this looks like something that you can make the beachy curls that really, you know, and it was under $100, so I got that. We'll see, I'll let you know how that happens, how that, what happens with it and how it works out for me. But I, I do want to show you one new thing I got today. I ordered it last week. And it's a Chanel. You know I'm a Chanel person. I have my Chanel Raspberry Duo uh, gloss on today that I love. It doesn't rub off. It doesn't. It just shines. It's If you don't get anything else, get you one of those. I have four and I love all of them. But this was a trio lipstick. Um, Thing I saw I got an email from Chanel so I just got it today I haven't even opened it see Let's open it for you you got it's got the seal on it you know I'm a sucker for packaging you know that don't we ladies let's see it's got all this cushion I don't need all that but all right here's the box Wait, there's a little bag here. Let's see what's in this little bag here. Maybe they give you a sample of something. Oh, it's some um, Hydra Beauty Micro Serum. I, I like that Hydra Beauty, and I am a, my uh, forever best, best, best holy grail. Chanel makes a blue serum. I'm going to have to bring the bottle and show you. I have been using that for three or four years now, and it is wonderful. It just, I don't know, it just, it's magical. I can't do without it. It's a little pricey, but it lasts a long time, and you just, after you scrub your face, 
And I, then I toned with my Clinique uh, um, toner. I put that serum on, then I put my Clinique moisturizer on. Okay, so what is this? You know, I gotta get the glasses. I gotta get the glasses. What is this? Solution. Oh, it's in French. Let me see. Can you? Can... Demoqua. Oh, gentle face. Oh, it's just an eye makeup remover. A little sample of that. So we'll give that a try. Plus, I got this little bag. Says Chanel. I know. I need to calm down, don't I? I need to calm down. Anyway, let's open the box. Let's open the box. Let me read the box first so we'll know what we're doing here. It's Rouge Allure Velvet. And that's it's Luminous Matte Lip Color. And there are three in here. There is Rouge Fauve, Rouge V, and Rouge Triumphal. So they're in there all in a red family. Yeah, you've got like bright, bright. Let me see if I can get that where you can see that. Those are the colors. Let's open this little box that was, I think it was $126. I'll look it up for you. Okay. And, uh, but you know, Chanel packages everything. Oh my God, I took it out of that box. We got another box. <laughs> this one, oh my, it opens up. Look, look at that. Okay, it opens up like that. You know, I'm loving this. Three lipsticks in there. Uh oh. And I love Chanel how they have the little spring opening in the case. You know, the cases are all black like that. But got the spring opening. Okay, this one is the Rouge Fauve, I guess. It's a darker, darker red. Of course, here goes the hand. It's very sheer and light like. Let's see. Let me put that up so I don't mess that up. And I'll let you see. Okay, it's kind of a, a reddish brown. Yeah, kind of a reddish brown color. Mm. I can live with that. Plus, then it, it's a matte, but it's creamy. Oh, let's do this one. I guess I don't. Okay, this one is 58 Rouge V. V means what? Life, live. To me, it's looking like that one too, huh? So let's see. Put it all right up there. It has a little of a pinky rose undertone to it, if you can see the difference. A little bit of that. Slight, but you know, they feel wonderful. And last but not least, this one is 257 Rouge Triomphal. Oh, with the French. I'd love to go to Paris and just spend, you know, three months or so learning everything. Ooh, this is going to be one of my favorites. Ooh, I know they're all close, but I like this one. I think I really like this one. It's kind of a, they're all in that rosy family, you know, colors I wear, colors I wear. And they're matte, and I love a, a creamy matte. That's what that is. So, all right, ladies, we're into this new year. Let me put this up. But again, Chanel, little packer, cute, cute. And you sit it on the dressing table or in the drawer, and it's packaged. It's nice. I love that. I just, I love, I love, love, love that. I love great packaging, and you know. You pay for it, but, you know, and I want to talk to you soon about things I've already shown you of products that I go, oh, this is great. I'll try this. What I like and don't like. I've got a few that I, I wouldn't recommend. Not that my opinion matters that much, but I wouldn't recommend. Let me get this off my hand. But anyway, how you been, ladies? It's New Year. All kind of chaos going on out there in the world, but you want to keep your you're so calm, you want to be peaceful, you want to be positive, and know that God has all this, and we're going to be all right. And if you can wake up healthy and, and in your right mind, you know, that's a blessing. Take that and seize the day with that. And 
and keep yourself going and, and keep others going and encourage and, and lift others up you know that's what we have to do that's what it's all about and now to the black i'm going to have to do it as a small mini fashion show i know my fashion shows aren't the greatest but it's the, you know i try and try and show you i want to show you i went to my closet let me tell you i went to my closet I should be ashamed, but I'm not. And I wanted to talk about black blazers and how important, let me move this chair, how important it is to have black in your wardrobe. Confession time. I have 13 black blazers. I know, I know. I Don't ask me why a person needs 13 black blazers. Similar different, maybe notch collar, maybe shawl collar, maybe, you know, longer, shorter, tapered. I was like, what? But see what it is. You catch a sale, you buy the jacket. That's what I do. You buy it. You, you, you get it. If you can get it for $49, get it, ladies. Grab it. You can always work a black blazer into your wardrobe. And all of them that I have, I, I've worn all of them. I wear them. Step one in here is a new one I bought last year I haven't worn. I'll show you. And I'm going to show you some of them and later we'll put them on. But my favorite, favorite black blazer I have of all time is an old Ann Taylor. This one is like from the old school. Tapered, short, beautiful buttons. Beautiful buttons. And I put that on. I wore this um, my wedding night for dinner. <laughs> after we, we got married on, like at noon and we had everything and then later we had dinner in the hotel and I wore this downstairs for dinner I wore it with a tulle skirt and and I'll show you that with the tulle skirt but this is a hundred years old it feels like some nostalgic French ladies jacket you know what I'm saying so it's 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 wonderful I love it Another one I have, a brand that I love is Tahari, Eli Tahari. I got this at Saks. It's a long jacket. I love a long jacket. And I love it that it has no vents in the back. It's closed. But the beauty of this notch collar is it's notched like that. And then there's trim. There's the velvet underlay right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it fits really nice, comfortable. I haven't even undone the pockets. I've worn it a couple of times. Sometimes you don't want to open the pockets. Just a little tip, ladies. You want it to lay nice. Don't undo those pockets. Not all the time on certain things. Now here's a jack, a blazer. I got it Saks, and this is another Eli Tahari when they have a sale. My husband picked this one out. Look at that. Isn't that unique? The nail heads trim right there. Nail heads here. No vent in the back. Not as long as that one, not as tapered. And um, it's a size six, you know. That Ann Taylor jacket I showed you is a two or a zero. Oh, excuse me, it's a zero. And this one I think is a, a four. This is a six. So when I did put it on, it's a little kind of big on me. So I put it on with this belt, you know, cinch it with the belt. My husband says, we'll just take it to the tailor after COVID lifts and I said because he gets everything tailored I wish I could get things tailored you know you buy them you know ladies we've been doing this all life we buy them and hope it works for us right but um this was on sale so it still has a tag on it but I'll show you that one I want to show you with all the black you need your basics this is three tanks that I have this is a chartreuse one love 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 it got it at Banana Republic few years ago, about three years ago, wear that under the black ladies. You can't go wrong. And these are two from Ann Taylor. I love these two tanks. It has the sheer bottom that hangs out from the bottom of each one. You wash them. They kind of fit here and then just loose and can hang from under the jackets, you know, because there was a time all the little jackets was these little crop short jackets. We got to cover this. We don't need this out. So having a little something else to to come down really helps. And I'm gonna show you how, you know, show you how to wear one of those under something and put it on and everything. Oh, here's another blazer I have, a black blazer. 
not expensive. I think I got it at Macy's, Gianni, Beanie, or Dillard's, one of them. But it's it's shawl collar. It's very, I was going to something dressy, but look at the sleeves, ladies. It already has the ruching. You know how you want to push your sleeves back up your arm sometimes? It's already in there, and of course, no fit in the back. No fit. And it's a great blazer, too. A lot of these I could probably put on with this. But I, I'm going to change and put those on and show you how I uh, wear those jackets. And we'll have just a little short, short fashion show. I'll try to do that. And, uh, you know, give me your feedback. I can show you my bottoms that I'm going to put on with them because I want to show you. Oh, this is another top I love. It's all lace. And I got this to wear. I have a black velvet pantsuit. So counting that black blazer, I don't think it should count because that does go with the pantsuit. But nonetheless. And here's a little tip. The black blazer fits. But the black velvet pants is a no-go. Size 6. I'm in a good solid 8 right now. But I'm working towards it, my sixes because I got a lot of size six bottoms. But anyway, this is a beautiful top and it's long and I put it on with that velvet blazer. Even though it wasn't a real short blazer, having that little extra bit of lace hang from under there gave it a, a new look and then all your butt sides not out. I'm sorry. I, I don't like that. I mean, it should be accented, not accentuated with Ooh, look at me. My arms all my all these hips. I know. Funny, funny, funny. But we'll do that and I'll show you. I've got another let me show you this. This is a sweater type. I guess it's not in the blazer category. But I got this at Macy's over the holidays too. This is a Danielle Bernstein. And it's gorgeous. It has bell sleeves. Like that. And it snaps. Now mind you. When Sister Girl was a six, with no extras, perfect. But I want to show you how to do this maybe with something under it or even, I thought about a t-shirt, but you got to really, what this would work with when the body's not quite right is a high-waisted. I'm looking for me some high-waist pants that come up, that will come up to here. And I can put this on and put a little top on, you know, but I'm, I'm going to put it on and show you. <laughs> Don't make fun of me now and try to you know work it out for you but anyway we'll get back to that and we'll have the fashion show and let me hang this up anyway we'll do that and uh, after the fashion show I'll come back and see how you liked it didn't like or just having fun okay and uh, let's see don't forget nice Chanel always works Okay, see you in a minute. Look number one. The Ann Taylor black blazer that I love so much. See how it, it cinches the waist. Has a little click, little pleat back here which my hind quarters are sticking it out. But I love this jacket. It feels so luxurious. So nice. It cinches in and I have on just a tool skirt with it. Fun, fun. How fun is that, you know? And I want to show you, I, I can wear it with lots of skirts, but it works really, really well with this skirt. Look number one, ladies. Black blazer. I have nothing on here but my bra and the skirt. Because it's, you can, you can always wear it closed. It has no pockets or anything, and it works so well with what you have on, you know? Really well. Okay, next look coming up. Okay, number two, Tahari jacket with the velvet. Remember the velvet trim, the chartreuse tank top. I wish you could really see these pants. I'll have to show them to you some other time. They're tuxedo. They have a tuxedo stripe down the, the leg. If you could see that. I love these pants. I've had them a gazillion years. But this jacket, like I told you, ladies, flattering. No vent, nothing to pooch your butt to pooch out, and just a nice, comfortable jacket. Lightweight, comfortable. You cannot go wrong 
with Eli Tahari and of course a beautiful black blazer. Dress it up. You know, I could wear it with other things, but it's just this and I love it. I've worn it like this. Different accessories. I just changed the earrings, put a bracelet on, got a new look, got a nice little and it's comfortable. I mean it could go with a fitted slim skirt or some slim slacks, you know, or velvet slacks when I can fit them. Anyway, you like to hurry. Coming up next, another black jacket just for you. Enjoy ladies. Here I am. Here we go. I kept on the chartreuse, put on the nail head blazer. What a great change the earrings a little bit, you know, and even put on, check it out ladies, my Dia bracelets. You gotta get some of these DIA bracelets. I just threw those on. They go with a lots of stuff and they're so light. But you know, they're really a go if your arms up, but love them. Anyway, nice Tahari nail heads. And I think it'll work even with a white top, a striped top, uh, you know, something. It's gotta be simple and not too, too, too busy. Cause these nail heads, or your feature, you want to feature those. Again, I haven't opened these pockets and I probably, I might, I don't know. But a little more Tahari, a little more black, a little more style. Doing it with black, ladies. Doing it with black. We'll do, we'll do one more look, okay? One more, two more, one more. We'll do some more, okay? I put the sweater on just to show you. Don't judge me. There's a little bit of poof poof here but I love this sweater I love the bell sleeves I love the way the collar lays like this and I just put it on one of these tanks still got the tuxedo pant on but you know it's a great little sweater it's comfortable you know you can do it like that or like that and, and I like it I really like it I really it's comfortable you know and once I get me some nice high-waisted slimming pant and put a fitted tank under there and just wear it like that, or, you know, I could do that. But I want to take a minute and show you what I was talking about with that, um, with the Tahari jacket with the belt. I want to show you that. So I'm going to take this off. <laughs> a little, let's put that over there. Um, this belt, this jacket, I'm going to show you when I fasten, when I, anyway, even though I've changed earrings now, but to give you an idea if you had to wear it with something like, because it's got a lot of play right here, you can belt it up, belt it up some kind of way like that, you know. And wear it like that with something. You can always do that option, ladies. Even though I have on silver accessories now. <laughs> but just ideas. I want you to play with the wardrobe. And uh, mix and match lots of things. Get them all done. You know. Again, I'll show you the ruching jacket since I'm here. How nice this jacket is with uh, because it it's already up there. It stays up there. You don't have to push at it or anything. It just stays up there. Machine jacket. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this. Always a new look. Always a new accessory. Same black jacket. Just get your back black basic black jacket and you're all set. All right. And you're getting ready. You're, you're good. You're all set. I'm going to get this right. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little petite fashion show. <laughs> and I did this all in one day. I was changing clothes, coming back, changing clothes, coming back. And even had to put this back on. I, but anyway, uh, it was fun. Doing the black thing is always fun. I have so many black pieces of clothing in my wardrobe. And you probably do too. And just to recap, um, on my lips, I forgot to have this. It's the Chanel Duo where 
the colors here and it's a matte and it dries and you put the clear gloss over it fantastic 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 you must I cannot stress enough you must add this to your your makeup line uh, routine or just just get one and this raspberry one is my absolute favorite I was trying to match my olive and June nails of course and get the tr Chanel trio that's a good one anyway I hope you like and subscribe and come and check me out every week I try to do it I upload and have, have everything done on, on Thursdays so anyway what's our theme keep it classic keep it simple and always always like the girls make it pretty make you pretty make someone else pretty just pretty is light and good and all things sweet and take care of yourselves take care of each other and as miss patty always says be kind if you can't be anything else be kind and i agree till next week ladies bye